Okay, so I'm getting ready to do the Capricorn reading. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they are attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So let's see, what do we have for Capricorn? We have the Three of Swords. So this could be a Libra. But somebody is depressed, they feel lost, or they have lost something. This could be a breakup. And they don't know what to do. Yeah, this is definitely Capricorn energy with the Two of Pentacles. It's like they don't know what to do now that something is done or, you know, over. And they're heartbroken. This person could feel like they're suffering. You have the Page of Cups. This could be someone that's very emotionally immature. Yeah, and it's like you have a secret admirer here. Like somebody views you as wish fulfillment and that person is jealous. Now, they could be in competition with this person. There could be some type of tension or um, they could have tried to create some type of chaos and conflict because they knew you were secretly admiring another person. Or as I say, they know that you have a secret admirer and that person is viewing you as wish fulfillment. You have the King of Wands. And you have the Seven of Cups. Now, this person could have did something to confuse you in the past. To get you to believe something about them that was not true. To get you to admire them. Um, to be attracted to them or something like that. And they felt like whatever they did, they would always be able to hold on to you. But you went towards a whole nother direction. Now they're weighed down, stressed out. The Ten of Wands, they're frustrated. Yeah, they're frustrated because um, they're frustrated because you've made a lot of progress ever since you went towards a whole nother direction. You took a leap of faith towards something new. Yeah, and you're very guarded with the hermit being here. You're very independent. You've been alone. Or you could be someone that have been single for a long time. Yeah, and you were able to end out that cycle with that person. You completed this cycle that needed to end out. We have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the strength card, yeah. You gained a lot of strength, um, a lot of courage. And now you only have passion for a future, your future. It's like you're manifesting a long-term relationship, commitment with another person now that you've completed something with whoever this person is that thought that they had you um, in some type of illusion where they're able to always feed you some type of broken promises. Make you believe things that are never going to happen. Yeah, this is the one who wanted you to view them as a leader and somebody that was very focused or something like that. But it backfired. And now if they know that you have someone that you're interested in or you're admiring or somebody else is admiring you, they're jealous. Now they could be secretly competing with that person. 
trying to look like that person, act like that person, and they're thinking that this is going to get you back in some type of illusion. This is somebody that have placed an illusion over their self and they don't know this. This is sad. <laughs> you have Virgo. So one of these people could be a Virgo. And then you have divine blessings. They want people to feel sorry for them. So this is somebody who expected for you to always feel sorry for them. View them a certain way that you shouldn't view them. I'm hearing lies. Like it was all lies. And this is someone that was very toxic. Yeah, and emotionally immature. This is someone who only wanted money. So this could be someone that was using you. And they're depressed, stressed out, heartbroken over a breakup. You have motivation and then you have Gemini. So yeah, this person could be a Gemini as well. But they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken because you were motivated to um, go towards these. I mean, go towards a whole nother direction. Even though whatever they did, they felt like this would keep you confused. You have false accusations. So this person could have made up some type of false accusation. This could be someone who paid people to spread lies on you. You were protected from this. I'm secretly in love with you. So there is a secret admirer here. This person is someone who dreams about you. Um, they're secretly in love with you. So whoever made these false accusations, they feel like they had to pay people to spread lies on you to keep another person from coming towards you, which is this person that's secretly in love with you. But whatever they did, you were protected from this. Somebody, this secret admirer, this person that's in love with you, they want a home with you. They want a relationship with you. This is someone who wants to be a part of your future. They want you to be a part of their future. You have community. And you have great fortune. have adjudication and change so if this secret admirer have watched you um make a lot of changes or you've just changed your direction they see you as someone that is receiving a lot of blessings these are divine blessings especially if you're on the right path you're on your divine path you could be walking in your purpose a lot of people could be supporting whatever it is that you do or they supported your decision for breaking up with this person. Yeah, you could have felt like something needed to change. You could have been under judgment for a long time being attached to that person. You could have went through a lot of hardships. But you were supposed to leave that person out in the cold. In order to be able to make these changes. In order to be able to... um. Be more focused. You have expectation. And you have toil and labor. Message. And then courthouse. Wow. So somebody was working hard. Now this, these false accusations could have led to a legal situation. After you left this person out in the cold, they made some type of false accusations um, involving a court situation with adjudication and courthouse being here. And this was to make you feel as if you were under judgment for breaking up with them. <laughs> this is sad. But they still ended up in poverty, like left out in the cold. You could have waited for a long time. 
But whatever, whatever you were, um, while this situation took place and you were in this waiting period, you were working hard on something. Whatever you were working hard on, you've received some type of divine blessings, great fortune. You have gift. So there was definitely some type of abundance that you've received and you've came out of the situation victorious. This is someone who wanted to make it seem like you were making a bad decision because you were no longer in some type of illusion or you were no longer um, attracted to this person or believe something um, that they wanted you to believe about them. You have facing jail time. So somebody is facing some type of jail time. This could be some fault for these false accusations, this deception. You have federal case. Yeah, this was a karmic masculine that you detached from. You have Gemini out here again. So one of these people could definitely be a Gemini. They were only them in your light. And you have caught up. So you have one person here that was trying to secretly compete with another person that they knew that was secretly admiring you or you were admiring, something like that. They got real desperate. And they felt like this would place you under some type of illusion again, but this person was in the illusion that they wanted you to be in. Then you have another person here that caused some type of deception. This could be the person, um, somebody that's attached to the person that secretly admires you. And they got caught up for something that they did. And now they're facing some type of jail time. They're involved in some type of federal case. Yeah, you have panicking. This person is panicking now that they've been caught. You have Pisces. One of these people could be a Pisces, Sagittarius, and then stalker. So somebody was stalking another person. And if they thought that nobody knew about this, um, this could have been illegal hacking. Um, this could be somebody that's a scam artist. They could have been off into fraudulent activities or things like that. And they were watching you. Yeah, they were trying to use children. So this could be someone that was um, helping whoever this person is that you detach from. Like they could have helped that person make false accusations about you, false reports. After you completed a cycle with this person, yeah, they're stressing. Then you have jealous friends, addictions. Yeah, somebody that, um, now whoever the person is that you've detached from, you could have children or a child with that person. This person is someone that has some type of addictions to either drug or alcohol or something like that. And um, they got upset because they could no longer use you. So they felt like they would be able to use a child or children to keep you waiting, keep you held up while they created a lot of chaos and conflict. And they felt like this would get you back in some type of illusion, all of the things that they were doing. Whoever was helping this person, they're caught up in some type of legal situation. This person is someone who has some type of addiction. Now, whoever the person is that's secretly admiring you, the person that you've detached from, this could have been a jealous friend of theirs that teamed up with another jealous friend. Yeah, because it says jealous friends on this card. Yeah, so these are people. Somebody knew about something that was destined to take place with you and this person that's secretly in love with you. So they teamed up with someone that you've detached from. Uh, they, they could have lied to that person out of desperation to get that person to team up with them. And that person started trying to create a lot of chaos, conflict, and havoc in your life. Because they knew about this person secretly admiring you. Or as I say, they could have knew that you were secretly admiring that person. And whatever they, whatever they did... 
you were protected from this. Something was balanced out for you. The same person that wanted to have you stuck, their stuff. The same person that was um helping this person because they didn't want whoever this secret admirer is to come towards you, their stuff. And if this was not a karmic friend, like another jealous friend, this could have been a jealous family member, somebody that they were in a relationship with or something like that. Yeah, you've changed. You're not the same. So it's hard for them to try to create some type of confusion around you. Somebody is jealous of a spiritual connection, spiritual bond that you share with this secret admirer. Now, one of these people were a karmic friend to this secret admirer and they stole money from that person. Maybe they didn't want that person to know this. This is someone who have been trying to send negative energy to you, but you're protected. A karmic soulmate tried to copy you, but this did not work. Yeah, this karmic partner scammed a lot of people. So yeah, whoever this other person is, they're definitely someone that's like a scam artist or something like that. This is someone that was secretly in competition with you because the secret admirer views you as wish fulfillment. Now, whatever negative energy that they thought that they were going to send towards you through an ex, that this did not work. I'm so done. It's like they had to lie to that person to get that person to um, do whatever it is that they were doing. Yeah, and whoever this ex is, is a karmic friend who stole money from whoever the person is that's admiring you. Now, this person could have stole money from them and then I seen set up. They could have been trying to set that person up as well. Yeah, and this karmic partner tried to trap them with a child that was not theirs. I'm so done. Yeah, they got scammed by this karmic partner. This is someone who was using blood magic over whoever um, the secret admirer is. And they were mad when you exposed them for the um, this magic. So you expose something to a secret admirer about a karmic soulmate that they're attached to. They got upset, teamed up with an ex to try to get that person to send negative energy to you, conflict, chaos, drama, and you were protected from all of this. Everything backfired. And it's like the person that they teamed up with this ex, they were a karmic friend to whoever the secret admirer is. Yeah, these were definitely karmic energies. These are karmic attachments that needed to be released in order for you to move on and um, in order for whoever this secret admirer is to move on. Move on from all illusions. Yeah, past life healing. So these could be events that took place in a past life. This is a repeated cycle. Yeah, in order to come in union with this person, in order to align yourself with abundance, in order to be able to release your personal power, your personal strength. You have high priestess and then you have masculine twin. So this could be your twin. You're someone who definitely expanded your consciousness and your awareness. And this could be how you were able to find out about this blood magic that was being used over your twin. And this was to keep them stuck. This was to keep them confused about the twin flame journey, different things that they need to change and heal in order to be able to align their self with their abundance, their divine path. They needed to release their lower self. Yeah, and it's like you've aligned yourself with infinite abundance by releasing whoever this person is. Yeah, it's like they're all over the place. This person is dealing with a lot of karma, 
Um, they're trying to get their priorities balanced out. They're juggling right now. This person is someone who does not know how to make um, proper decisions. And they've wasted a lot of time trying to do something, different things to hold you off when you've already moved on and finished the cycle out with them. 